and I've heard that uh, one woman who won a, a trademark right for uh, producing handcraft uh, stuffs and uh, how to uh, help uh, people with uh, with this special knowledge for uh, making uh, uh, or finding market it's not easy to find market but if you are at home and nobody knows that you're working something that you are producing some useful uh, things it doesn't help so we try uh, in, with our work uh, with our presentation presentations uh, to help those people who who are making uh, uh, the handcrafts so those people who make some napkins or pisanitsas uh, or uh, felt from wool or uh, we try to take the, those things to uh, some um, sh uh, shows uh, to uh, um, let's say in Ljubljana or when we go uh, when we have when we have show off with park we also take those things with us and we try to sell something uh, from them uh, what is what's your uh, current most important project now uh, now we are preparing on some new projects we would like to continue what we made some st first steps in uh, last years with um, knowledge about uh, about uh, those things how to how to work out some things like people did it in the past so for me this is interesting and uh, we made it uh, for linen and now uh, we would like to make it better with wool and then we would like to, I don't know how to say in English, but uh, we would like to get to know some, some things about uh, slama, urs, uh, to make a roof. And we would also like to, to get younger people to get involved in it so that they would see that it is useful to know how to use things from nature, how to make with hands something and how to s and then sell it. And that is uh, also interesting for nowadays, that young people would like to present, let's say, uh, a flex uh, in modern time. So that would be in trend. We know here from tradition that people make napkins, ma they made uh, um, dress, dresses and all those stuffs for, uh, for, the, for, the, um, for living. But now we would like to make it for now, for this, uh, for this time, for the year 2012. It means that I would dress flex but in modern way mm -hmm. and what does it what does this uh, initiative means regarding uh, the employment of uh, local people how many people uh, are involved uh, in this in this mentioned project maybe they are not really employed but they can earn some money with it when they work in the, those things, they can earn some money. They uh, they are organized, or they they just take a firm, or uh, or a person can be registered uh, in um, uh, Chernobyl. She can take a re registration and can uh, sell things with papers but she's not employed so many of those people they are retired already and this is just something additional uh, some some money that is additional to what they get from the retirement I've heard about this trademark what does this uh, trademark mean uh, for the, the local people who are involved uh, well, doing think, things uh, you mean trademark of uh, dual certificate oh, well, yes mm -hmm. it's a paper uh, that you get it if you pass the control in Ljubljana at Obertna Zbornica Slovenia uh, 
the, there are some people who are the commission who is um, checking the things that handcrafters are making. So uh, this is something that has a certificate, this piece of it. And this one is the one that doesn't have a certificate. But it's nice, it's really nice. And why it doesn't have a certificate? Because the commission means if this is traditional, we know them for 100 years, it's normal and can have a certificate of uh, Domacha in Umetno Snowboard. Uh, and this one is something that a lady uh, mixed two things. You see the color, the color is uh, from, made from onion, from onion leaves. And normally we say to this kind of egg, not this one, we say drsanka. This is pisanica and this should be drsanka. But drsanka is normally with full uh, egg, not empty like this is, and just other, uh, other, uh, other ornaments. But no, nobody would matter the ornaments, but they just don't uh, say it's okay because they made it empty and like peace in it. So it's not tradition. Mm -hmm. You can use other ornaments, but you cannot just mix together things. So it's one of the things. Uh, and when you have a certificate, it's easier when you go to Ljubljana, to the market where uh, handcrafters are selling or when it's uh, tourism and prostitutes, so it, it's a, a, a show off or something. When you have this certificate, it's easier to sell things. Mm -hmm. It's easier to say that you are under control, that uh, somebody looks over, that somebody is caring what you are doing and uh, this is something that commission said it's okay and uh, during our work during the project uh, project of uh, handcrafters it means uh, we worked out more than 70 uh, certificates like this is I personally I have seven certificates for different things Vera Vera Varian she's got over 60 certificates for her products for Gudala, for Vodomets and... Uh, 60? Yes, over 60 products. Are these uh, Pramanka ships, right? No, those are not Pramanka ships. Uh, she didn't know. It's, uh, uh, it's other kinds, but uh, Boris told her that he would like to have Pramanka and he, she said, yes, okay, make photos from left, from right, from up, from mm -hmm. uh, bottom, and I will make the Pramanka ship. So, uh, yes, she will make another one, so another certificate. Mm -hmm. And uh, why uh, are these uh, uh, hand, handcrafts uh, stuffs uh, so healthy, for example? Because I, 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 I have already seen a pillow with this, uh, it was filled with... Uh, pillow, yes, from Slavica, yes. <sighs> one point is that uh, we take um, materials from nature, it was quite usual here that every farm um, was living like this. They took material from nature and would make something for their living. It means if you cut the bush, you do something from it. So you do the tiny, but this is really small. They made uh, bigger ones. Uh, you can also make from slava. I, I don't have enough things, but also from corn leaves. You can really make lots of things. I don't have uh, them here now, but from this uh, they made um, pretpražnik for before, before the house that you put it, uh, that you clean up your shoes mm -hmm. when you come. Yeah, yes. I understand. It was, it was made from corn leaves. From corn leaves we can all also make slippers. We can make bags. Everything. You don't, you needn't have to buy it. So today maybe this is not so important, but maybe in uh, now, those years, five years uh, ago, uh, I started to recognize it, that people really are searching for something that, it, that is or handmade 
or um, 100 percent natural uh, material and many people like to use those things in uh, their everyday life i like it this is wool so we really like uh, to um, we would uh, like to improve things made from wool not just caps and uh, uh, gloves or something we would also like uh, to make from wool some modern things modern interior or something so we 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 would like to make some um, workshops we would like to invite uh, people who work on um, fashion uh, or in uh, clothes or in interior and uh, to use the wool that nowadays people throw it away. 50 years ago my grandmother she wouldn't throw away no any kilo of wool. She would uh, she would uh, uh, she would wash it and prepare it for the cap or something but some years ago nobody didn't want to do this with hands they would throw it away and buy wool in a shop but now it's modern to wash the wool from our sheep it's also very normal if you have 10 20 sheep at home then it's really the best that you cut them that you wash the wool and that you make some really nice things maybe you saw here uh, we have uh, a panneau made from felt, from felt. Uh, we have many things I made uh, really nice products with wool now in a new collection I don't have them here now but I think that we need more improvements in this part mm -hmm. and you mentioned that you have certificates yes. regarding uh, uh, producing uh, this handcraft, handcraft stuffs. What kind of uh, uh, products do you uh, do you prepare? Mm -hmm. So uh, every product product has uh, his own certificate. So pizza needs a cap or something. So my certificates are uh, some of them uh, are for uh, wool. It means for felt, for felted roses for felted soap, uh, then for um, napkins, uh, knitted napkins, then for um, linen, um, for uh, flex um, dress made for uh, folklore, ethno, uh, yes, mm -hmm. ethno music. Also I have a certificate, as you said, to remember, uh, for uh, uh, Oh. Napkins? Um, uh, I, I don't know. Maybe I told already. A rose, uh, 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 and the bags from uh, from felt and the slippers from felt. Four for felt, uh, two for uh, linen, and uh, for um, knitted napkins. And now I'm preparing to have uh, for uh, knitting the wool. 